Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today I'm going to go over step by step on Disneyland's new ticketing process. We're going to do uh, again the same thing with the screen share as we did with yesterday's video. So let's get to it. Let's go ahead and share my screen. And this is the Disneyland website, and we're going to go ahead and do this. So here we go. This is a new system. So before you had to make um had to buy a ticket, then make a reservation. Now it's the same. So we're gonna go through this and we're gonna go ahead and uh do a couple of examples. So let's start off with a single day ticket. Just select one from 104. One person, ages 10 plus. Then this is where some of the stuff gets even uh, new. So, one park per day, you see included. Get the most out of your trip, enjoy a full day, experience in park at Disney DCA. And there's park icons here. This is for California Adventure, the fun wheel. This is for Disneyland. And this is gonna help you when you make your reservation because it's gonna say, you know, for DCA only days, for Disneyland only days, or when days are both parts are available, you can look for these icons. Or you can get a park hopper. In which case, it says plus 55 extra dollars. And it says you can only park a park hopper after, after 2 p.m. Again, the starting park icons. Let's start off with the one park per day. We're going to choose the dates. All right, so I'm going to go back down. Now, this is also where we reserve the day. Before, again, this is where you just clicked for the price and you had to go back for reserving the day. Now you're doing it at the same time. And they give you options. So this is the pricing options. At 124, 139, and 154 for the weekends. But then these are the parks that are available. Before you go and buy your ticket, you want to check what parks are available. And you see this is one park per day, only California Adventure. At this time is available, and yes, this is just the day after they added all that capacity. Disneyland is already all gone for the month of May. That was very, very quickly, I know. But only California Adventure is available as of May 19th, 11.25 p.m. If we head over to June, California Adventure is also only available. Again, they added all that, um, all that, all that, uh, all those reservations for June, and especially May and June. Especially for one day tickets and park hoppers, and they're all gone for one day tickets. But you can still go ahead and get uh, Avengers Campus opening weekend, which is cool. And then for July, you can't go, basically, can't go to Disneyland on a one day ticket, one, day, one park per day ticket until July 5th, which is far, far away. Then let's say I'm, I want to go on July 9th. So I pick the ticket, it's 154. Then you select the park. Disneyland or California Adventure. Disneyland. And then you click next. Then you have an opportunity to add your uh, parking voucher to your ticket so it saves time at the gate or in the parking garage. You don't have to go and pay, you just go ahead and um Show me a ticket, and you're good to go. So it, it helps that process even faster, if you like. And then you put the selections and go add to cart, and then that's how you do it. But I'm not going to buy tickets right now, so we're going to go back to select ticket. By the way, as you see, if you already purchased a ticket before this new system, if you've already purchased a ticket and still didn't make a park reservation, you can still do that by clicking this button right here. But if you're a new person, you can select ticket. This time we're going to do the same for Park Hopper. Choose the dates. You see the, the dates that have a slash on them, obviously they're sold out. Look at the park availability. You can go to Disneyland, a starting park on Friday, 
The rest is California Adventure as starting parties. You can go to Disneyland after 1 p.m. on all these days. Avengers Campus Day, you can start off at Disneyland and go to Avengers Campus in the afternoon. Or you can start off at California Adventure, go to Avengers Campus in the morning, go to Disneyland on uh, during uh, the afternoon on a Sunday. And July is pretty open. You pick the same thing. Select a car as a starting park. Click next. It's 209. And again, you can add the parking voucher. And that's where you go. Now let's get into multi day tickets. So go ahead, select ticket. And we want to go. Let's say three days. I'm going to just do three days for a reason here. On person, we're going to do a park hopper. We're going to choose dates. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So, you have to use all three days within two weeks. So, if I pick, let's say, tomorrow or today, June 20th, you see a shows these lines i have to choose anywhere i have to pick my next three days anywhere between the 21st and june 2nd so as you can go i can pick all three days just like that if i Pick the first one is June second, and go all the way to June fifteenth. Slash, and obviously it's no day, but I have to pick them all within a two week time span. Now, the ticket has to be available, like it. It can't be at the end of the sixty day calendar. So, if you want to pick something on July eighteenth, it won't let you because. July 19th to the 31st aren't opening it. You have to pick one by July 4th, starting July 4th. Well, actually, let's see here. You can pick one the 7th or the 16th, but you'd have to do 16th, 17th, 18th because these aren't open yet. So those, how, those are how multi-day tickets work. Um, so let's say I pick my July 9th, let's say 17th and 18th. So then, reserve dates. Then, you select the starting park for each day. So, randomly. And then, the next $365. They can add a parking. It's parking for each day. Um, I guess you, won't, you wouldn't want to pick this option if you're staying at the hotel. So... If you're staying at the hotel, you definitely don't want to pick this option. But if you're just driving there each day, you can add the $75 right away. And then there you go. So that is basically how this new ticketing system works. Um, very much, uh, very much more, very much, much simpler than when it debuted on April 30th until basically just last week. I like this much, much better. That's better for everyone. What do you guys think, though? Um, I, does this make it easier to you? Is it still confusing? If it's still confusing, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below what those questions are, and I can answer them for you. But other than that, this looks pretty, pretty uh, simple here. So I love the change, and it's something they should have done from the be the beginning, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. If you liked the video, press that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Share this video for anyone that may not know about this ticketing change. And, as always, have a fantastic day.